Hello everyone, I'm Miguel Ramos, Product Manager on the Firebase team. At Firebase, we are committed to helping developers succeed and we are always improving the platform so you can build better, faster and more engaging apps. Today, I'm going to share with you what we have done since the last Google I.O. and what we are working on to make Firebase even better for Android developers. First, let's review what Firebase is. Nowadays, the expectation of mobile users when using apps are really high. It's not enough the app does its job very well, like learning a new skill, helping you to stay in shape, or reading comics. Users want apps to load instantly, with a smooth and engaging user experiences and a beautiful look and feel. Also, if the app fails and you don't fix it quickly, users drop out. If you don't offer new experiences functionality frequently, users lose engagement and move on to another app. As an app builder, you need to take care of many aspects for each phase of the development cycle. For example, designing and implementing your backend, authenticating and storing information about your users, monitoring crashes, responding to incidents, updating and deploying your apps seamlessly, performing A-B testing for new features, and so forth. You have to worry about many things, but it's even more overwhelming when you have to choose from many product solutions and implementations out there. This is where Firebase comes to the rescue. Firebase provides the tools you need to succeed in building launching and operating your app. It gives you a suite of products on a fully managed cloud infrastructure so you can get your app to the market faster, doing everything with this before and more. You will build a full stop application with practically no backend code using the Firebase SDK that supports multiple platforms and languages, such as the Android SDK that you can use with Java and Kotlin. Since the last Google I.O., we have added many new features to Firebase that made the Android developer experience more delightful. Here are just some highlights. Crashlytics is a crash reporting service that collects and analyzes crash reports from users in the Firebase web console. It provides detailed crash information, like logs, stack traces, and all the data, so you can quickly and easily identify the cause of crashes and fix them. We launched the new App Quality Insights window in, Win in Android Studio, which allows you to view the Crashlytic crash report inside of the IDE and navigate directly to your code. So you no longer need to change tools going back and forth between the web console and the Android Studio. You can focus on what is important, fixing the bugs. Firebase Performance Monitoring is a tool that helps you collect real-time quality insights about your app, like the start time for your user's devices or the network latency. Imagine you want to guarantee fast response times for all the users, no matter where they live. For instance, 50 millisecond latency. You should use percentile to measure this, but which percentile is the right one? No worry, do you don't even have to think about that. We will set the default standard percentile per platform to help you make the right decision for your users. For example, for Android, the default is 90%, although you can change it if needed. We added out of the box screen performance metrics for Android fragments so you know the rendering performance of different parts of your app. These two updates will make you more informed so you can improve the app and avoid the user frustration because poor user experiences. Let's say you build an app, but it's not quite ready to be published to the Play Store, but you want to share with some early adopters to collect feedback. Well, that's not a problem with app distribution. You can upload the APK or bundle and invite users to try with just a link. We launch app distribution to general availability, so it's fully support product and ready to use. Any app, 
no matter the number of users it has, it could be target of malicious hacker to steal information and use it for other proposals. To keep your backend infrastructure safe, Firebase has AppCheck. AppCheck validates that the app calling your backend is really your app and it hasn't been tampered with. Also, we integrated AppCheck with the Play Integrity API, the latest and the most advanced app attestation provider for Android devices with more anti abuse signals. AppCheck was graduated to general availability and by using it, you're making your Android app more secure. If you want to learn what other things we did, I recommend read the blog post Firebase 2022 recap. As you see, it has been a very fruitful 12 months. It's time to talk about what we are working on to help create fantastic apps. Performance is critical in all devices but even more in low-entry devices where every millisecond counts. But performance can reduce engagement and increase app's churn. With this in mind, and thanks to the new efficient thread pool and background workers, the Android SDK is being improved to reduce the CPU consumption in the application startup. We will also defer the product's initialization and instantiate the product with needed. These two improvements allow Android apps that use Firebase to start up 3% faster on average. This is about 20 milliseconds, enough time for a mobile device to perform many tasks like responding to a touch input, processing a simple command, or deserializing a small amount of data. You are will be ready for your user sooner. And the best part of that, you won't need to do anything. It will come for free when you update in the latest version of Firebase Android SDKs. Android developers are embracing Kotlin, one of the most favorite programming languages in 2022, and its adoption is growing. One of the advantages of using Kotlin is that you can integrate seamlessly with the system Java code in your project and adapt it into your own place. Android's commitment to Kotlin is very clear. Design the API for Kotlin first. Even more, some libraries are exclusively for Kotlin, like the Jetpack Compose, the last EU framework for Android apps. Firebase Android SDKs were designed and writing in Java, and these APIs are translated into Kotlin through a very light API surface via Kotlin extensions. However, this approach doesn't allow you to use the best capability of the Kotlin language. I'm starting to announce that we are working on a redesign of the Firebase API to offer idiomatic support for Kotlin, and this great Kotlin API will be the default experience instead of Java. Still, you will be able to use Java if you wish. Let's take a snippet. peek. One of the most significant advantages that the calling first redesign will bring you is when using asynchronous functions. Today, many Firebase APIs are using task class, so you need to call a wait function in your app. If you forgot to call a wait, you will lose the result, which is something we don't recommend because it could lead to issues. Also, tasks don't fully support the cancellation. There is no safe way to preemptively stop a task running on a thread if the task must be responsive to the cancellation request. The Android SDK will spot async API as suspend function directly to embrace the Kotlin async programming model based on coroutine that fix this issue so you can start, pause, resume as many times as you need, and then end it. So you can write more robust code and review bugs. It's beautiful. For developers still using Java, Tax API will be still available. Another Kotlin feature that simplifies the async experiences is flows. Flows allow you to emit multiple values sequently asynchronously. For example, we could use it to fetch data from the network, process data in the background, or receive live updates from the database. As an example, let's take a look at this code 
that is uploading an image to the Firebase Cloud Storage for durable, scalable, and secure storage. To trigger the flow, we call collect, which is a suspend function that needs to be called from the coroutine. In the Lambda, we specify what to do when we receive a new element from the flow. Today, some flows are already implemented on the Kotlin extension, and those and new ones will be in the main classes. Your code will be less verbose, more readable, and easy to integrate with Kotlin library like Jetpack Compose. We'll be releasing this Kotlin fair approach in the near future. But remember, the Android SDK is open source, and you can see our progress in the repo in case you want to collaborate or if you are curious about where we are. Any feedback is always welcome. Throughout this section, we have seen how Firebase can help you to succeed in creating full stack Android applications. Last year improvement allowed you to respond faster to the crashes and issues, which crash fleet is and performance monitoring, deploy your app easily for early testing with app distribution, or make your app more secure with app check. And this is a hint of all what you can do with Firebase. This year we are working on many exciting things, and two examples are improving the performance and making the developer experience even better for Kotlin developers. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Adios.